Welcome to this integration tutorial where we will combine our ultimate products. Combining our cars and bikes advanced packs with the advanced fuel system add-on is really easy. First of all, make sure you are using the latest version of all packages. To make sure you get a clean download, it's always a good idea to remove local content from Epic Games Launcher before creating a project. For this video, we will download all three packages to the same main folder and for the same engine version. It may take some time, so grab a coffee, stretch a bit, and let the progress bar do its thing. Once you have downloaded all of them, you can use one of the packages as the master project. For this example, we're going to use Drivable Cars Advanced Pack as the master project. First thing we will do is combining cars and bikes. It's as simple as copying all assets from bikes to cars without overwriting anything except for BP Base Bike. Let's navigate to Bikes Project, Copy Content. Now navigate to Cars Project, paste the content and select Don't Overwrite. Now go back to the Bikes Project, Open Content, DD Vehicles Advanced, Blueprints vehicles, and copy BP Base Bike. Navigate to the Cars Project, go to Content, DD Vehicles Advanced, Blueprints, Vehicles, paste BP Base Bike, and select Overwrite. We can now open the Master Project, in this case, Drivable Cars Advanced Pack, where we just added bikes content. Let's open our main demo map. Demo map day no AFS in the maps folder. Go to the garage area and drag our bikes from the content browser to the scene. You can find them in DD Vehicles Advanced, Blueprints, Vehicles, Bikes. In that folder, you will find the three base bikes included in Rideable Motorbikes Advanced Pack. Custom, Enduro, and Naked. Please notice that each bike has its own variants and that the ones with the manual suffix require manual gear shifting. In this example, I am selecting the bikes with automatic gears, including all their extras. You can use the placeholder bikes as a reference to add the fully functional ones. Of course, you need to remove these placeholder meshes afterward. We can also add BP Vehicle Customizer to have quick access to all bikes versions. It's located in DD Vehicles Advanced Blueprints Garage. You can simply keep the asset selected in the content browser, select the actors you want to replace in the viewport, right-click and choose Replace Selected Actors With. Then select BP Vehicle Customizer. Now it's time to check that everything went well. Press Play in Editor, or right-click and select Play from here if you want to override the player's start location. You can now try the Vehicle Customizer. Press C to open its menu, select a vehicle variation, close the menu, and take a ride. To add the advanced fuel system to our master project, the procedure is very similar to the previous one. So we'll need to close our master project before copying and overwriting files in it. We'll first copy all content from advanced fuel system to our master project without overwriting anything. And after that, in Advanced Fuel System, we'll navigate to Content DD Vehicles Advanced, Blueprints, Fuel System, and copy BP Fuel System. Back to our master project, we'll navigate to Content DD Vehicles Advanced, Blueprints, Fuel System, and we'll paste BP Fuel System. Now we'll select Overwrite. 
it's a good moment to check that everything worked properly. So we will open our master project again. If we open AFS demo map, we will already find a generic chaos vehicle to which we added basic functionalities. But to try our advanced vehicles, we just need to drag a car and a bike from the advanced packs. As we saw before, they are located in Content DD Vehicles Advanced Blueprints Vehicles, and there you will find the respective cars and bikes folders. Again, you can use the placeholder vehicles in the scene as a reference, which you should delete after placing the functional ones. To make it easier to check fuel consumption, we just make a quick setup on our vehicle's fuel system component. For example, current fuel will define tank's actual content. Disabling refill on game start will prevent the tank from being full at the start of the game. We can also increase its consumption multiplier to make it less realistic but more noticeable in gameplay. To fully test the IK interaction system with objects, we recommend setting the map's game mode to BP third person game mode UE5 char. If we now press play in editor, we can try all our advanced features together with full character interaction, bikes, cars, and the advanced fuel system. In this map, you will find two fuel interaction methods. In the basic one, you just need to overlap jerry cans or refuel interaction areas to refuel your vehicle. In contrast, with the advanced interaction method, you need to grab the jerry can or the pump hose to refuel your vehicle. These interactive objects will trigger their interaction through character proximity. However, if overlapping two objects' interaction areas, the character will interact with the one it is looking at. You will find the advanced jerry cans inside the gas station shop. There are two different variations with different capacities and sounds, which can be easily adjusted through exposed variables. For this advanced method, we added an extra feature that can optionally be enabled. If the character tries to refill the car from the incorrect side, it will automatically move to the correct side through a navigation mesh. But in order to make the vehicle update this nav mesh in runtime, you will need to modify navigation mesh runtime method to dynamic in project settings. We are now ready to add the full gas stations to our demo maps. To do so, we created a map named Migration in Advanced Fuel System. In this migration map, you can select the advanced gas station, the basic gas station, or both. They are properly organized in their own folders in the World Outliner. You just need to select the ones you wish to migrate and copy them. Now you can open the main demo map named Demo Map No AFS. Remove the ghost gas stations and any unnecessary actors
When you are done, just paste the ones we copied from the migration map. Now, you finally have the drivable cars and rideable motorbikes advanced packs with the advanced fuel system, along with two gas stations that showcase both advanced and basic interaction methods in our demo map. Now, just press play and have fun. Check out the description for the full demo, fab links, documentation, and more. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments.